Dear uh, Adonai viewers, you're welcome to this show, Love Binding. Your host is Kasato Godfrey. Uh, today we are going to deal with the land issues. Uh, in the studio, I'm not alone. I have to have a man who is qualified in law. Today we are having an attorney, and uh, this moment I would like to uh, let him introduce himself, then we move ahead. Thank you, Mr. Godfrey. My name is Job Kukiriza. Yes. Uh, yeah. Job. Uh, Council Job. Yes. People want to know from which law firm uh, uh, do you practice from? I work with uh, Suga Company Advocates. Suga Company Advocates. And also with Tinex Logistics Limited. Two advocacy firms? No, one is a company. Yes. Yeah. Then the other one is a, a firm. A firm. Uh, I, I, can you clarify what is the difference in between the two? Uh, a firm is where we go and do the legal work. Yes. Basically, we, we plan for that day. Yeah. Yeah. And the company, it deals in medical medicine. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, today, uh, dear viewers, we are going to deal with the, an issue that is really. Uh, a serious problem to very many of us in Uganda here. Mm -hmm. When we talk about land, land issues in Uganda have become a serious problem. There is an outcry from all over the, the country. People are talking about land. There are a lot of land uh, disputes. There are a lot of land issues. Yes. Uh, dear council, yes, um, our dear uh, uh, viewers want to know, what is land? When we talk about land, what is land? Uh, well, land was described using a Latin maxim. Uh, Chukas est solomo. It's a Latin maxim. Yes. Ejas est est inferius. Simply meaning uh, land yeah. is whatever is on the land, both up and below. When we are describing land, mm. we are dealing with whatever is seated on, on the land and above it. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. As in a landowner yes. owns what is above, both above the land and below the land. So that's what that maxim, that Latin maxim means. Yes. Simply. Yes. When you talk about land, don't only talk about the surface area. Yes. For example, let's say you've constructed a flat. Okay. Yes, yes. Yeah, so. The, the, when, you've, when you've constructed a flat, however high you go, and however low you go, yes, still is, is yours. Well, so so when, when my ownership is, is, not on, is, is not limited? No. Uh, vertically upwards and down, eh? Yeah. I still own the same? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Um, there's something I hear of, land fixtures. A land fixture, yes, yes. Yes. What are land fixtures? A land fixtures, these are, these are items that are constructed on a land. Okay. That are fixed on the surface. Yes, yes, yes. So, um, my house, can it go in yeah, under it qualifies, the category? It qualifies to be a fixture. Yes. Uh, crops, agricultural crops. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, give, give me some of the examples. Give some examples, you know, something attached to a surface. Okay, is a mountain a fixture? Ah, not really. Not really. Okay. That's a natural resource. Natural resource. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yes. So whatever I plant on the on the land. On the land. Yeah. Or whatever I construct on the land. Yeah, you have to use you have to use your own materials. For example, let's say your bricks. Yes. You lay bricks on a on a surface. Yes. Even though you have not used a mortar yes. or cement, yes, it's just you've just laid them on the bricks. It qualifies to be a chato. A chato or a land fixture. Those are two different things. Oh, but what is the difference between a chato and a land fixture? You, you know, council. Yes. You are you are trying to become now complicated. Not really. Not really. You're bringing in a lot of Latin. You're bringing. <laughs> um, um, can you please help us mm -hmm. um, and get the difference between a chato and a and, and a land fixture? Uh, well, it's not for, uh, yeah, as I said, blocks. 
I will give you a good example of blocks. Yes. Being put on a what? Now, our chato is not really fixed. Okay. It can easily be removed. Yes. Now, like bricks. For example, when someone puts lays bricks on a on a land surface, yes, they qualify to be a chato simply because it can easily be removed. Okay. While a fixture is fixed on the surface. So you want to tell me, if I bring my ma a building material mm -hmm. on my piece of land or plot of land, mm. that is a chattel. Yeah. That is it can easily be removed. Or, yes. Mm. But if I do the construction, uh -huh. I apply cement, true, 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 true. do the mixing very well, mm. then I construct a building, or whatever I construct, mm. that one becomes a fixed. Because if I to, for, to be a fixed. It is fixed. So, yeah. So that's, okay. that's how it's principally defined that too. Then, uh, council. Yes, it's good friend. Um, I hear of what, what uh, people talk about land tenure. Yeah, the land system. tenure system. Mm -hmm. uh, what is land tenure system? Uh, land tenure system can easily be explained yes. or defined as the different types of land in an area or in a given, or in a given jurisdiction. For example, here in Uganda, yes. we have the Milo tenure okay. system. Okay, I now get the point. So, it, it, it is the, 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 the different kind of descriptions of land. Uh, okay, yes, go ahead. Yeah, uh, we have uh, freehold. You have said one, my land. Milo. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I want us to go slowly by slowly. When we talk about my land, mm -hmm. what differentiates a piece of land to be my land. Now, what makes it unique to be when to I be talk of my land? When I talk of my law, yes, I will take you right back to the 19 Bugana Agreement. Yes, that's how it came into existence. Yes, uh, when when Uganda was not yet, had not yet got its independence. Yes, uh, we had the Christians that came in, and uh, they had to, they wanted land for development. Yes, so they went to the Kabaka. And extracted something so that they could use the land. Yes. So that's how the Milo land came into place. Okay. So basically, we have we have the Milo land and also Kabaka's land. Yes. The Milo land, if you if you if you if you recall Milo land. So the the Milo land is basically it was basically in the central region. Yeah, basically central central the Uganda central, central area. Uganda. Yes. Yes. Top yes. of Uganda. Oh, yes. So yeah. Milo land applies in Uganda. We also have freehold. Yes. We have customary. And we have titled. We have my land, freehold, customary. Customary. Customary land. Yes, then. Let's 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 first deal with those. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, no, so can you please help us? Mm -hmm. What differentiates a Milo land from a freehold? And you said this? This hold? This hold, yeah. Yes, this hold and customary. And customary. Yes. Now, uh, what, what, do you, what really do you want? Freehold? Okay, now let's start with my land. Mm -hmm. No, we've done my land. land my land. Yeah, we've finished my land. Explain my land. Okay. How, how, how do I get to know mm. that I'm owning my land? <laughs> well, my land is not owned, owned by an individual. My land is owned by the, by the, the Kabaka, Kabaka's land. Yes. But you can use it as, you can use it on his behalf. The my land? Mm. Mm -hmm. Because I, I normally get uh, titles where you have, this is a title but of, of a my land. Yeah, they are my land titles. And, and, and we, all, all of us here, mostly in the central region, mm. we feel much more comfortable when we have a title, a land or, title or, 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 that has a mile, a, a mile, a, a mile coating on it. Mm. <laughs> okay. Because uh, this Kabaka's land uh -huh. that, ha does, that, that, that doesn't have title? It has. The, the, it's, it's titled by the Buganda Land Board. Yes. Yeah. And now, um, this mile land, mm -hmm. you're saying it's under Kabaka still? Yeah, it's a mile like in there. there are 90 miles. <clears throat> but you can receive busulu, is that what you call busulu? Yes. It's a Buganda term. Yes. So you pay you pay a grand rent for a specific period of time. Okay, Castle, I, I want this one to be clear. 
to, to our viewers. Mm -hmm. There's like my dad. My dad owned la my land. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, yes. And it is titled. So it was passed on to us. Mm. But we, for us, we, we, we know we have the, the full capacity and the full ownership of it. To develop land. it, yeah. You have yes. to develop it. Yes. Mm. So now, how does the Kawaka come in? <clears throat> now, the Kawaka comes in in a way that he has, the, he has the obligation to collect a grand rent or some little fees. From the main land? Yeah, from his land. Because my land belongs to the Kabaka ownership. So you can live on it. Then what about the, 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 the Kabaka the, the Kabaka's land? It's no, you there's that you're not getting me. Yes. But I'll try to explain it in a way that Kabaka has his land, for example, which he uses person which is personally for the development of the kingdom. Yes. Uh, where where his house his residence is seated yes and also uh the commercial buildings yes and also where yeah, their the, the, the parliament is seated yes as the prime minister and so on yes so it's only it's it's, it's in a way that uh you are you're free to develop it and use it and enjoy it but it's it, it's it's the sole ownership it's owned by the kawaka it's not owned by you you can have a title but it's like a subtitle are you getting me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like a subtitle. Now. You use it on behalf of the Kabaka. Uh, now, which type of land on these other, these other ones mentioned, which type mm -hmm. of land do I own personally? You can own freehold. There is freehold. There is customary land. Now, customary land is the, the, like, like for, for example, at home. Yes. Uh, your grandfather had land, yes, which is owned by a family. Yes. So, uh, that land, when he gives birth to children, yes, he, uh, he he assigns each and every child a portion. Yes. So, you you own a, a specific piece of land that is given to you through inheritance. Let's say. Yes. Yeah. So basically, you you can get a title. And, and, and to show that uh, you show that that land belongs to you. So on that title, uh, uh, w w what is mentioned on the title? It's customary, customary title land. Your name actually up is is on the title. Yes, but it's enacted under customary. So, Kaso, you want to say? You know, very many people are owning my land. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, 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 then the customer. The difference between what is the difference between the customer land and the my land? Customer land because, is because, like for for my case, mm. I've had this kind of land, whereby I, we are having a title, but the title is having my land, yet it is inherited from our grandfather. <laughs> no, not really. Uh, when you talk of Buganda as a, as a region, yes, you cannot tell me that uh, the whole of Buganda is under my, my land. It's not all under my land. No, no, yes, no. Buganda is far beyond ninety miles. Yes. So when you talk of my land, it's specifically the ninety. You get. Which uh, which which let me say it can stretch, it stretches. In Entebbe, yes, some land. Then Kampala, yes. Then Mukono yes. has also some land, just other other, other district co offices, yes. Yeah, probably, probably that. Then we also have church, which was given to the churches, the missionary church, yes, where they they put up schools. If I may, traditional ask, schools. if I may ask, comes. Um, does land have law governing it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, land is governed. What is the law talking about land? Uh, at, when, you, when you go to the Constitution, chapter 15, yes. of, 
of the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda. Yes. Uh, talks about land. Yes. Land is vested into the people. Land belongs to the people. Yes. And the government, through enacted laws by the parliament, yes. only ensures that a few places are reserved for the development of and enjoyment of the whole country as a whole. Yes. For example, when we talk of lakes, natural resources, yes. lakes, rivers, uh, minerals, yes. things, things like gold, yes. uh, yeah, etc. Et yes. So this is basically government owns places that like swamps, yes. which, are, which are used for the recreation of, of the environment. And these, these ones are enjoyed by, by both citizens and also those that come in as tourists. They enjoy it as a whole. And now, now um, that kind of land is categorized to be what? No, this is basically, I'm, I'm describing basically what land is. Yes, yes. Yeah, how the laws govern the land. Yes. So, specifically, people own land. People have the right in Uganda. It's not like other countries now, when you go to Tanzania, yes. land is owned specifically by government. Also, countries like Russia, yes. land is owned by government specifically. Yes. And devoted by government. But for our case, it is completely different. It's different, it's very different. Yes. We have leases. Lease, leases. Yes. You can grant, you can, you can get, get land through a lease. Now, this is an agreement signed between two people. Yes. The lease and the lease. Uh-huh. Now, the, the lease is... is, is is under what category? I'm explaining the leasehold. Yes. Mm. Now the leaser is someone who wants to give out his land for a specific period of time. This is uh, three years and above. Yes. To, to the leasee. I can have my title. Yes. You can have your title. Then Either I... customary. Yes. Yeah. But you want to lease it out. You want, you want, you want, you want, you want to give, someone wants to use it for the development of a sugarcane plantation. Someone yes. wants to begin a sugarcane factory yes. with it, or a coffee factory. So I lease it out. You lease it out at a fee. Monthly, yearly. Uh, it begins, a lease is basically three years and above. Okay, it is annual. You, you, pay, you pay money, yeah, you, in, in that agreement you enact a, me a memorandum of, of understanding. Yes. Whereby you talk of how long, the du duration, duration period yes. that someone is going to use that land. Yes. We can say for five years, 20 years. In, in, in this agreement, before you, you put down the agreement, mm -hmm. this person has to pay the full amount or I have to agree on the terms of payment. Is it talk, in bits or once? You talk, of, you talk of the payment, you talk of what you accept, your acceptance. Yeah. Uh, then, is, that person clears you, but in that argument you say that person is going to use the land for 50 years. And yes. after 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 50 years, that land will get back to you. The lease, the lease. Oh, 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 the 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 the, the, the what? The descent? Eh? You call them what? Your 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 family. Yes. Yeah. So even when you're gone, in that land you ensure that it's going to come back to your family. Your children are going to benefit from it. So this person uses it for a specific period of time, as an as an act of the government. But council, has it really happened to, to those families in Uganda here? Yes, 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 yes. They people, gain, people they gain leases. Yes? Yes. yes. Okay. Get, getting, getting the lease, mm. that one is very possible. But now, after the, the, the specified period of time, mm. getting back to the rightful owners. Yeah, it gets back. You can you can you can file a suit now, to ensure that the land gets back to you. If, if if at all the person using the land is not willing to get, require another lease, yes, or wants to use the land for free, you can file a suit, yes, and uh, you ensure that the land gets back to you. In which court of law? A uh, land division. Okay. Uh, okay but specifically. There are land tribunals, which are in every sub-county and district. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the, we'll talk of the land commission that is enacted by, by the law. 
Yes. This one really, this one handles land disputes. At what level? Uh, when you're filing, when you're filing a suit, you can begin with resistance. There's what there's what we call the resistant committees. Are they at village level? What level is that? Yeah, there's, there's one at sub county level. Yes. You can actually begin from the village level because uh, people people that people who, who have wisdom about the land are basically the neighbors within the within the within the jurisdiction of the area. Yes. So specifically, your neighbor knows who exactly owns that piece of land. Now who puts us together? You can rush to the chairman. I advise you first rush to the chairman. Yes. And let him call for a meeting. Yes. Let him call both parties. That's if the the elders, the clan chiefs, have, have failed. failed. Yes. You can Be because now you can, up, you can appeal to the chairman. The, the, because this is a solution no, whereby council it is in between me and you. Where we are not relatives. We are, yeah, yeah. You get the point. We are not colleagues. We are not Okay, okay. We, we, whatever, we may be colleagues, mm -hmm. but the, 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 the clan leaders cannot put us together. Mm -hmm. So I advise that person to appeal to the resident resistance committees or, or an LC. LCs, yes. Yeah. But LCs do not count the jurisdiction of. If, if that land has a value, a monetary value, yes. or let's say 15 million. 15? Uh, it's out of his jurisdiction. Above he can't, 15 million. He can't handle that meeting. Yes. So that person will basically rush to a high court or a chief magistrate court to file a suit. Hmm. Now, mm -hmm. what, uh, I want us to be, uh, I want you to, to help the, the, the the, the viewers, eh? Yes, yes, yes. What is the first court? In between, you, you've talked of uh, the high, the what? The, the magistrate. Chief magistrate. The, the chief magistrate, eh? The chief magistrate court. The chief magistrate court. Mm. Is, is that the lowest rank, ranking court or? Are there, it's, it's actually the, the, the basic, it's the beginning, it's the beginning of, the beginning of hearing of suits. But we are there in grades. Yes. We have grade two. Now, this one you're talking about is grade what? Chief Magistrate. You can rush to a Chief Magistrate straight away. You know, you, you're talking to a lay person. Mm -hmm. You're talking of a Chief Magistrate, you're talking of grade two. So, like, 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 now let's take an example of, of Mokono. Yes. Mokono, nowadays I hear of high court, I hear of what? What what court do I go to? Your side of the magistrate court, eh? You got the registrar. Oh, the court registrar? Yeah, of a yes. civil suit, land division. The court Chief registrar, court. Uh, dear viewers, you go to the uh, registrar, civil suit. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, land division. Uh, land division. Yeah, and file a suit. Yes. And file the complaint. Yes. Mm. Then from there? From there, uh, they, will, they will sit down and they will call you. They will call both parties. Now, does this apply to all categories of, 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 of land tenure system? Yeah, yeah. All? All. So long as the, the, the land value is above 15 million? 15 million, monetary value. Okay. I get the point. Mm. I get the point. Now, you you were talking about um, if at all. Okay, I file a court. I, I file. I suit. file a suit. Mm. Uh, uh, can I first explain to you what is a suit. Uh, this is basically a complaint. You are saying you are not convinced. Yes. With party X or party Y. Yes. Uh, he has infringed on your rights. He has trespassed on your land. Yes. So you want him off a piece of land. Now, with the suit application, mm. do I need a counsel anatomy like you or I can go myself and I finish everything with the registrar? <laughs> it's advisable. Yes. To get someone who's, who has knowledge. 
Yes. Of the land of the land law. Yes, yes. Yeah. Because you as a layman, there are some terms and jargons that you may not understand. Just like how I explained at the beginning of this program. Yes. How I called the white land is is to pale, things like that. Yes. So I would advise you to get 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 someone who's who's who has a well basis on the law of the law of land. So that he can give do, do, uh, when when I'm applying the suit, I even apply some of the uh, uh, land uh, law courts. Oh, Depending on my suit, you you put the grounds. Yes. The grounds that you base on. Yes. Yeah, you basically say uh, on this day uh, I'm filing this suit against so and so who has entered into my land without my permission i put it down on paper yeah on paper in writing yes and you receive it is received by the register at a certain fee okay so oh. then later you'll be called for a hearing i even pay for for the suit yeah there's a fee for a suit like how much <laughs> are you get there when you go there they will tell you it depends <laughs> you know uh, the, the viewers need to know because I may think I just have to walk to the... No, those fees are, yeah, those fees are, they are fixed amounts. Okay. Yeah. They so, cannot be when fixed. I get to the register, I get to know that. You'll get to know that. Yeah. Council, yes. we are just let down by time. Mm. In just a minute, mm. I just want you to leave uh, some conclusive remarks to mm. the person mm. over there who is owning land mm. and may be having issues or may not be having issues at the moment. Just briefly, uh, before we end the program. Well, with land, uh, basically it's uh, the development of the land. I would urge you right there, yes. if you have a piece of land, one, develop it. Yes. So that, so that its, monetary value, its monetary value goes high. Yes. And uh, the more you utilize on the land, with the, when, you, when you're living that land, someone will still pay you for how much you've developed it. Yes. So, basically, develop it so that you gain on it. If you, if you have land and you leave it dormant, well, it's of no use. Yes. But when you develop it, it gains value. Yes. And the, the, the more the value, this is more the worth. Yes. Yeah, so, kind of urge you, get a land, develop it, to fence it. Yes. You will have, you will have protected it. Oh, or yeah. put, something of, put something that is of value on it. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Councilor Joe. Uh, dear viewers, thank you for tuning in on Adonai TV. I would like to tell you that every Monday, 9 to 10, we shall be with Council Job here at Adonai TV uh, uh, um, with your program, Law by Me. I've been your host, Kasaro Godfrey. And your co-host, Job. Yes. Okay, Let's meet again Monday next week.